Hi, Year Two. Welcome to Session Two of our English, and it's Miss Richardson here again. So we're going to be just using those noun phrases that we were working out yesterday and thinking about yesterday. We're going to be using our noun phrases to describe our character today. Just having a look at this again, just to remind ourselves of what we were saying about yesterday. These were my notes from yesterday, so you might need your notes out from yesterday so that you can write your own sentences. So we said, or I said, we, that uh, the king had stinky feet, horrible breath, rotten brown teeth, big bulging eyes, or we even using those commas that we were doing on Friday for um, when we're using adjectives in our list. He wore stained clothes, he had revolting manners. So today we are going to actually be using these, um, sentence, these noun phrases in our sentences. I've done a little, a little diagram up at the top with all my ideas in it. And hopefully you might not be able to see them, but I can see them on the whiteboard in school. All right, I'm going to start by writing a sentence to describe the king. I think I'm going to start with a sentence to describe the outside of him. I might use, in fact, I might even link up some ideas and start using the word and in some of them. So I get a couple of ideas together. In which case I need to link my ideas. I'm thinking if I'm talking about what he looks like on the outside, I might say about his snotty nose and also he had a wet chin. So I might use those two together because actually both of those are around his face and it links up quite nicely. So I could start my sentences by saying the king, so I don't know who I'm talking about yet, so I'm going to start it off with the king. The king has a I'm going to say really sentimental. I'm going to um, make it a little bit more powerful by adding a really in there. A really snotty, a really snotty with a Y, not a, not two E's. The king has a really snotty nose, a bit diagraph, and a wet. I might even say horrible wetching. I might make it even more powerful and say a horrible. Horrible wet chin. Full stop. So the king has a really snotty nose and a horrible wet chin. I'm going to have another look at that um, at my carrot, my roll on the wall from yesterday. Oh, I really like the idea of him having stinky feet. So I'm thinking, oh, and sweaty clothes. That makes him smell really horrible. Oh, that's a really good start for my sentence as well. I could say he smells, he smells really, uh, let's cross that out and do that one again. He smells really horrible because, there I am getting in my because, he smells really horrible because um, Betty eats carrots and uncle sucks eggs, or if you prefer big elephants, can always understand small elephants. He sounds really horrible because he has, has Miss Richardson, how did you forget the rest? Because he has stinky, stinky with a Y again, breath, and breath, and, and sweaty, Skin. Sweaty with a Y, not an E, sir, and sweaty skin. Right, so I've talked a lot, or I've done two sentences so far about what he looks like on the outside. Now I want to think about what he is like on the inside. And I don't want to start my next sentence with he because then I've got two he's starting two sentences together. I want to think of a different sentence starter. I think I might go back for the king actually this time. I'm going to say the king has revolting manners. So the, the king has, has revolting. Remember, if it's already on that word now, it should be spelled right. So the king has revolting manners and Revolting manners and 
He is lonely. Man, I'm not sure that one goes very well, actually. He's got revolting manners and, and oh, I just don't know. I wonder if you can think of something that might go nicely at the end of that sentence. If you can, perhaps you'd like to share it with your grown-up and finish off my sentence for me. I'm going to give you a few seconds to have a go at doing that. Go. Do you know what? I don't know. I still don't know what I'm going to do. So I don't think I'm going to quite finish this in the way I'd really like a really good sentence to end it. So I think I'm going to say the king has revolting manners and he is very childish. He is very childish. Childish with a sound at the end. Okay, I'm going to mark this one this time because I think I've done some really good learning. I can see we've got some noun phrases here. So I can say snotty nose is a noun phrase. Horrible wet chin. I've forgotten my, I've forgotten. Oops, let's change that to blue. I've forgotten my comma. Horrible wet chin because I can have a comma because it's more than one adjective together. Okay, he smells really horrible because can definitely highlight that one because he has stinky breath and sweaty skin. The king has revolting manners, another noun phrase, and my joining word, and he is very childish. Okay, so having a look at our success criteria, think about an aspect of the character, use exciting vocabulary, what adjectives can be used with the noun for it, with the noun? Write the noun phrases into a sentence to describe the king. Good luck, everybody. Have fun.